Welcome back to BJP Lifestyle, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're not, go ahead and change that around right now because we got some new content for you. If you're not already subscribed and you're new here, make sure you guys click the subscribe button down below right now. Helps me out, helps the channel grow, and of course, you'll be notified when new content goes live. Of course, check out Shop Lifestyle to get yourself some lifestyle merch. But today, guys, we're gonna be talking about how to drive an automatic car in manual mode. Now, this could be either paddle shifters, or in my case, I don't have the paddle shifters, yet is it's just going to be with the little shifter knob because most jeep grand cherokees have that uh, my jeep grand cherokee has that obviously so that's what i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it on but the same principles are going to apply for that or paddle shifters um, it's not the same as driving a manual car and i know a lot of people in the comment section have been asking me about this and asking about the saying they don't use their paddle shifters ever even though they have an exhaust and they want to get some tones and some downshifts and stuff like that so that's what we're going to be doing so we're going to go ahead and jump on into the car here now and uh, hop on the GoPro cam like I usually do and show you guys how to do it. All right, my camera battery for some reason didn't charge on my GoPro, so I'm gonna run out of battery quick, so we're gonna go ahead and send this. First thing we gotta do, obviously start up the car. Um, hopefully the angle's good. It might be a little bit different than my normal driving videos because I want you guys to be able to see the shifter here so you can see like driving and stuff. So obviously if you guys have never driven a manual car, then you'll not know maybe, but there's normally a clutch pedal over here if you guys are driving a manual car over on the left side for your left foot. Um, and basically you have to push it in all the way to engage the clutch and then you'll shift and that kind of stuff. So um, if you are used to driving a manual car or you've driven a manual car, then you'll know that you usually are gonna let off the gas when you shift and it's gonna be like kind of a I don't know how to explain it, but you're gonna be moving your feet and letting off the gas when you push the clutch in and shift and then back on the gas kind of thing. You don't have to do that in an automatic car, which is something that I think a lot of people get confused about when they're driving an automatic car in manual mode or learning to or understanding it, I guess, uh, especially if you have that pre-found uh, notion about driving a manual car and letting off the gas and clutching in and stuff like that. So uh, basically you're just gonna throw this baby in drive. And then in my case, in my Jeep, you can see we have the drive and then the manual mode. So to put it in manual mode, you just tap it to the left. Um, and then you see that we're in manual mode and you can tell that it's in manual mode by looking up here. So if you see, P R N D, so it's in drive. And then when you click it over, it shows you that you're in first. Um, obviously if you wanted to go into like neutral, that's gonna be like, just like your N and you would just have to shift over and up to neutral. So you see we're in first, right? If I let off the brake, it's just gonna do the same exact thing as if you were driving normally. Now, I understand that it can be a little bit confusing, I guess, uh, but you'll see it kind of feels a little weird. So we get going, give her a little gas. You kind of hear it though, that it's not like shifting, even though it feels like it should. So all you do is you just tap it. So you guys might understand now a little bit better, just based on that feeling or that hearing that, um, so if I go back to first, um, I'll do this and uh, do a little bit of damage to my transmission probably, but just to show you guys, if you click back down to first, you can see it says one there. And then if I give her some gas, you can hear that it wants to shift, right? But it's like, it's not, cause it's not automatic shifting. So all you're gonna do is just pull back on it. At least in my case, you'll see that it has a minus and a plus uh, right down here. So you see minus plus. So in this case, you put it down to one. And then if you wanna go up higher, you pull it back towards you. See so shift not allowed. So that's another thing to note in this type of thing is if you guys are driving a automatic car in manual, it's gonna have a lot of fail safes. It's not like in driving a manual transmission where you're gonna have to be clutching and stuff like that, where you can actually just like jump gears and like kind of mess up your car and your transmission a little bit. Um, it has a lot of fail safes on it because it is just still driving an automatic, but you're having a little bit more control, which is nice for like downshifting and stuff like that and getting a little bit more tones out of it um, is to get those little bit more tones. So if we're in first, you could even probably just start in second, but if we're in first, so you don't even have to let off the gas second, you can even get into third and it's just, it's very simple you don't it's not like as much thinking as clutching in and stuff like that um and if you want to slow down you can use the engine braking even with it so you put it down to two um two is pretty much going to be your safe bet in one of these cars um to be just cruising even third you could probably just keep it in there most of the time unless you're at a complete stop um i'll have to take it out on the road in a minute and uh like actually go somewhere that i can drive a little bit quicker to show you guys that it's pretty much simple. I don't wanna hit these bumps. So it's not the same as driving a manual car, obviously, but it is a little bit of fun. And obviously the same thing's gonna apply with the paddle shifters. So just assume that you, if you guys have paddle shifters, it's gonna be the same, right? So you, you put it into manual mode or whatever. If you, I think you tap them and it automatically goes into manual mode. So right, you'd be in first, you'd start going and then you tap it, which would be the same as doing this, you tap it. And then, like I said, you don't have to let off the gas or anything. So once you're going faster, you could pop into those higher gears and just kind of send it around. 
and it won't really uh, affect it. But one thing you can do is downshifting, obviously. So if you get going a little bit and then you downshift, you can hear it really like pop and crackle and get a little bit more exhaust notes because basically your RPMs are gonna shoot up when you downshift, um, which I'll show you guys when I'm driving. If I can actually get a clip, hopefully driving. But basically when you're driving manual, you're just watching your RPMs. Once you get going, you'll notice that you don't actually like look at your RPM. So like if you see my RPMs are going up, you see like around 2K is probably around where you shift in this car, just cause it sounds like it's winding out. And like even there, it's just, doesn't sound too good, like two, two and a half thousand RPMs is probably the spot that I would say that you're gonna want to uh, want to shift in this, um, which is kind of weird because you can go to higher RPMs in like most cars, but since it's an automatic, it's gonna have that kind of fail safe where it's not really letting you crank the RPMs like you want to. It's basically you're shifting when you're at about two, two and a half thousand RPMs. Higher RPMs when you guys go into like a passing kind of gear type of thing, you wanna be obviously in a higher gear. You don't wanna be just mashing it in first or something like that. That's not good for the car. But like I said, there's a lot of fail safes to kind of save you from that. But you're basically just gonna shift. Um, one thing you can do is throw it in automatic mode and then just we can watch when it's shifting. 2K, exactly 2K. So I feel like this, I, like, I feel like I was correct on saying 2K because in automatic mode it just shifted. Uh, to 2k so let's see if it does it again here if i get her a little bit more yep it shifts right around 2k so um you could do the same thing in manual mode and just kind of use that as reference um if i pop it in here you'll see we're in second and then we can drop it down to first um but it can be a lot of fun like i said if you guys want to get some pops some crackles a little bit of downshift noise and just get yourself a little bit more um more sound out of your car more control and just have a little bit more fun like i said if you guys have the paddle shifters it's even more fun because you can just whap on them and you don't have to be like over here cranking these up but let me go ahead and take this out on the road and find a spot that i can actually get a good shot of me driving um and kind of show you guys actual shifting of it so that you guys can understand it a little bit better all right, so you can see here, it just started raining, but we're going about 35 or so. And you can see, you can you can tell when you need to shift. Um, in the higher gears, you don't need to shift as early as flat 2K. You can go like two and a half, 3K maybe. Um, see here, we're slowing down a little bit so we can downshift. You can hear those downshift noises, hopefully, even though it's raining. See? See here, you're taking a turn, you downshift a little bit. Pop it back into drive though, just so we can uh, turn around easier. Um, it so unfortunately my GoPro just died, which is why it just cut off there, hopefully, or maybe I cut it, but either way, my GoPro died while I was driving down the street. All right, so when I'm talking about RPMs, if you guys know absolutely nothing, I'm gonna talk to you guys like you have no idea. That way, if you don't know, you know. You don't wanna go to where it's like orange because you're basically gonna redline it. It's not good for your engine. So it's not very good for your engine if you're hitting that red line over there. Um, in most cases, you're gonna to wanna to stay around two, three, maybe 4K when you're shifting. Obviously, if you wanna really power it. If you guys floor it in drive, you'll notice that uh, as you switch into like a passing gear from flooring it, it's gonna shoot up to five, six K and then shift. And if you put it in sport mode, it'll shift way higher like that. The shift points change. Um, but if you put it in manual, you guys will understand a little bit and just kind of play with it. Drive around a parking lot to understand it a little bit better. Um, it's, it's definitely super fun, especially if you guys have an exhaust and paddle shifters. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't have the paddle shifters on my, uh, on my Jeep here. Um, I might be installing them soon. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about doing that down below. Someone recommended it, so I might do it. But you got your RPMs over there. And then over here is where you'll see your drive mode. So this is where if I put it into drive, you'll see it switches to drive, obviously. And then if I click it over, you'll see that it's one, two, and then I can't go any higher because I'm not driving. So if we click it back over, you can click into neutral, which is, I guess, part of it. Like if you want to switch into neutral, you can do it while driving. I don't know. Um, but you don't have to push the button in to do that. So, so those are the basic things you need to understand to drive it. And then, like I said, down here, you have your different modes. So you have your Prindle, which basically is just pruned now. So park, reverse, neutral drive, and then you got your plus and minus. So you put it into drive, you see, and then click over. So that's how you do it. I don't think I showed it very well, maybe on the GoPro. So, so you click over and then you can click up and down. If you guys have a Jeep Grand Cherokee, which a lot of my subs do, um, but then click back over and put it in park. So hopefully you guys understand it a little bit better and you're able to use your paddle shifters now. 
Um, I, it's kind of hard and difficult to explain to someone through like a video like this, in my opinion. Um, you'll get the hang of it though. It's not going to hurt your engine too bad. It's, it's manual mode on an automatic, so it's going to automatically shift if it needs to. It's going to correct itself. It's going to overall just be fine. So you, you guys will be fine. Go ahead and play with it. Use your paddle shifters, have a little bit of fun and, uh, get some downshifts as you guys have an exhaust. Send me them on Instagram, either Instagram DMs or just tag me in your posts, your stories, all that kind of stuff. I love it when you guys do that. So let me know down below if you guys learned a little bit or if you're going to use your paddle shifters now, cause I know a lot of you guys were commenting about it and I, I do not understand if you guys have paddle shifters you gotta use it have a little bit of fun sometimes sport mode in this car is fun and overall just if you guys are driving with just a normal manual mode if you guys like manual that much and you're driving it all the time maybe just go ahead and buy yourself a manual car i, I don't know um i don't know what else to tell you about that one i definitely think that it's fun but i prefer to drive an automatic for right now as a main primary car and i think most people would just because it's so simple to drive and you don't have to worry about it or think about it but if there's anything that I left out that can help other people down below, make sure you guys do that. Of course, stay positive. Don't, don't, don't bring that negativity into my comments. Don't do it. Don't do it. I've been seeing a lot of comments lately throughout my videos. I almost have 100 videos on the channel now, which is crazy. This will be 97 out of 100, so we're three off hitting that 100 mark. But there's been a lot of negative comments throughout my time making videos. So keep that negative video out of here. You know, we're only positive around here. I want you guys to have a good day. And uh, let's go ahead and hit that outro. All right, that's going to be about it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you click that like button down below to help out the YouTube algorithm, help this channel grow, help the video get out to more people so that they can learn. And of course, comment down below anything you guys have to say about it. If you have the power shifters, if you like them, if you already knew how to use them, if you use them, if you don't, that kind of stuff, just let me know. Let's spark some conversation down below. And of course, subscribe to stay updated with future content. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. here on the channel. So make Make sure you guys don't miss out and of course check out shoplifestyle.com to get yourself some lifestyle merch but thanks for watching guys peace